know that next year will be Manchester United's 225.4 million pounds game ball is buying off under Everton Hug. Everton Hug is out of you apologize. His appointment always represented somewhat of a game ball, given his prior top level success was limited to that football. Now it is looking like a race that will pay off. Manchester United have a clear identity in the way that want to play. A fresh determination to battle unity and and are showing sign of swagger as they continue to adapt to their new approach. The key to that has been the players that have signed it in the summer. The United manager ran the risk of ridicule by putting so much trust in personnel he knew so well from Dutch football. Such was his belief that he and a string of players could make the tricky transition to the Premier League. Against Chelsea on Saturday night, Ten Hag's summer signing took center stage yet again. Four of the six players he signed started at Stamford Bridge, and all of them had a significant impact on the overall performance. The Sandro Martinez put in another strong defensive performance and will have had a clean seat to solve for it if Scott McTominay hadn't conceded a late penalty. The Argentine centre-back has been excellent since he arrived. Out his promising partnership with Rafael Farhani will be put on hold following the Frenchman's latest injury setback. Christian Eriksen returned to the starting lineup and once again impressed it. His calmness and composure are crucial to United's early dominance. The Dane has been a revelation under Ten Hag and is already feared as indispensable to the way they play. It was also an promising display from the lively Antonio on the right wing, although he has failed to deliver well-rounded performances since joining. He has still sound more than enough to see he has a promising future and allay any immediate worries. Then there is Casemiro. He might not have been Ten Hag's first choice in the summer, but he's priceless to the squad now, even without his dramatic equalizer. He was the best player on the pitch on Saturday and is the defensive answer the team has been crying out for over the last few years. Ten Hag now has a lot of credit in the bank because of his transfer success rate, which is far above the 70% target set by former executive vice chairman Ed Woodward years ago. The Dutchman has already been informed he won't have as much financial backing as he did this past summer. With United investing a record £225.4 million across a single window in his rebuild, such was the magnitude of the task at hand. However, that doesn't mean they can back him at all. United know they must sign a new striker next year, as well as a right back and quite possibly a new goalkeeper as well. There is also a case to be made that they might need a second credit midfielder to lessen their reliance on Ericsson, although that isn't nearly as urgent. Once again, it outlines the need for patience given the huge rebuilding job at hand. Ten Hag still wants to make additions to his starting lineup until he is completely satisfied with it. And his recent hesitations to use every available substitute also highlights his worries about the caliber of options on the vines. It is true that there has to be a stricter limit on how much money they spend next year. But given his impressive track record this past summer, Ten Hag certainly has a compelling argument to get what he asked for. <laughs> 